we're back, we're back, we're back again, and we got a new video. Now, in case you haven't noticed, I wasn't here last week, and um, the reason why is um, Inky passed away. Just cut to the chase. She, she, she couldn't make it anymore. But I just, I just love that dog so much, man. She was always there. You know, she was there with me in the yards. Whenever I go run around, she, she'd go. I, you know, she'd go anywhere with me. We'd go camping, go to work, anywhere I went, she was always there. You know, and that's that's probably the hardest thing that I'm having to deal with right now is, is just not having her presence, you know, and it sucks. You know, like the other day I was eating lunch and I was like, like oh, here, Inky, you want this? And she, she wasn't there. You know, the, the hardest thing about it is she's, she was, um, her brain was still there. You know what I mean? Like, but she just, her body just wasn't working anymore, you know? And you, you just can't fight entropy, man. <laughs> Try as much as you like, you can't fight entropy. You know, and, and, and that's that's one thing I hope I can tell you guys, you know, is <laughs> once you go through puberty, entropy kicks in and <laughs> you know, <laughs> you don't have a lot of time, so you better make good use of it. Um, but that's what Inky taught me, is to live in the moment and to be a better person. And, and, and you know, Inky, Inky taught me how to love again. Because she was a pure soul. You know, she didn't she was just like, oh, you're going for a walk? Alright, let's go for a walk. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna go to the park and, and throw a football around? I'm down with that. I can't throw because I got paws, but I'll kick it with you, you know? Oh, you're gonna drink beer in the park with your buddy Mike? Okay, I'm down with that, you know? Oh, you're gonna go to the train yard? Hell yeah, I'm gonna do that. You know, she was just like down. She was always down for whatever. Um, DFW, you know what I'm saying? And um, I'm really gonna miss that. You know, and that's kind of why I've been putting her in the videos a lot the past couple months because, well, in the early days she would always get in my way when I was filming and if you looked at the, the edits I'd be like, oh, Inky, get out of my way, you know, like, ah, you know, like, you're messing up my set, you know, you know, but then that last year I was like, oh, fuck, she's not going to be around much longer. I better just let her walk in and be in whatever she wants and that's kind of what happened and what, but what I didn't expect to happen is you guys to fall in love with her so much, you know, and, um, it's just unfortunate that she can't continue this journey with us, but her journey is over, and um, rest easy, puppers. But now, we have a video to make. <laughs> oh, almost forgot, almost forgot. Um, let's talk a little bit about sticker trade. Now, I, I know some of you guys are very confused about what's going on, and uh, where's, where's uh, Scott Storch, um, Corey Haim, and... Um, you know, you guys love him. I love him too. Had a little external issue, and he decided he didn't want to do videos anymore. And I totally get that. I mean, I'm a little bummed about it because I spent a long time training him, and you know, we made a lot of videos together. And, and, and if you noticed, he asked to have them taken down, and and I totally respect that and I get that. Um, so the girls have come in to try to fill that void, and right now they're really trying to find their voice. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to find their their. They're trying to find their inner green ranger, I guess. <laughs> you know? And I tried to help them with the videos, give them pointers, you know, things like that, but they don't want to listen to me. And, and I get it, because they want to do it their way. And, and I know for some of you guys, it can seem a little uh, incongruous. You know, they're just trying to figure it out. You know, and I'm all about people trying to figure out their stuff. So let them do their thing. I hope that they will eventually really truly find their voice and, and, and will make the videos that you are looking for. Because I know I know some of you are, 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 are unhappy with the change. And I get it. Um, but life is full of all kinds of change. <laughs> the way it is. Uh, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm still going to be making videos. So I hope you guys stick around. And um, I think over time, they'll grow on you, you know what I mean? Or or maybe they'll switch it up, they'll try something different. I mean, they have a different voice than me, obviously, you know what I mean? And there are other people who like that voice. You know, it's like not not everyone who's watching the videos wants to see a Green Ranger channel. I get that. And, and, and that was some crit criticism that was leveled against me. And also, I specifically said I wanted more content providers. There's more content providers. So, you're welcome for all that free content, guys, that we don't charge you for. <laughs> Nevertheless, um, they're my team and I gotta support them. My only real criticism is um, I never like to block people in the videos, you know, and, and I know they got their feelings hurt by some of the mean comments, and, and you boys are mean sometimes. <laughs> Me. 
But, um, you know, but I, I've had a multitude, a multitude of messed up things said about me on the videos, you know, and, and it were my inbox on Instagram. You wouldn't believe, you know, toy, fat, dumb, um, never has been, uh, what else, what else, what else? You don't know what you're doing, um, you're a fag, you're stupid, uh, you're retarded. And I take it, you know, I'm just like, whatever. I can deal with it, um, and I prefer to leave them out there, you know what I mean? Because I'm a big believer in free speech, but not everyone agrees with me on that. And I have to remember that, that not everyone is as free speech as I am. I might be the radical here, actually. That might be what's happening. Maybe I'm the radical. You know, but I, I kind of think of things in these overarching global things that are happening, you know? And right now, I think there's a real war going on in the internet where people are, are taking sides on the side of free speech and on the side of controlling content and what people have to say. The hosting sites like YouTube, you know, Google products, Facebook, you know, they're, they're very ideologically controlled and, and they're also the same kind of people who want to control speech. And, and I think that's um, it's not a good way to go because it's a slippery slope to fascism. And um, nobody likes fascism, except for fascists and communists. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, told, I told him I wouldn't make fun of communists anymore. I'm sorry. Sorry, communists. Uh, in the meantime, I want to live here, be free, do me, because I don't like people telling me what to do. That's why I got into graffiti in the first place. Freedom. Freedom to write on things we don't own. You know what? There are people who control the airwaves, and there are people who control the pathways of information, and these are the tools that you use to make your voice heard. So what we're gonna do today is try out one of the biggest ones, and that is the Molotov Masterpiece Markers. They are available in the Speed Flow, and they're also available in the Covers All Marker, and they're also available empty. So we will go over to my desk and take a look at a few of those, and um, let's talk about markers, guys. See you in a bit. All right, so what is the Masterpiece Marker after all? Good question. What it is, is a, it's an invention by Molotov, and what they did is they took a jumbo marker body and they've developed their own head to go on top of it. Oh, see you guys later. So right here you have the same body, but a different head. And so there's three types of markers in this line. There's the 711 EM, the 760 PI, and the 767 PI. The 760 PI is the Molotov Cocktail Covers All, and the 767 PI is the Molotov Speed Flow Marker. Now what's the difference between those two, you ask? Good question. The, uh, the Covers All ink, as the name implies, is a very deep black ink. Uh, alcohol based, but it's very deep and rich, and it will pretty much go over anything. I've tried it in a lot of different environments, grilled doors, things like that. Definitely will cover. Uh, the Speed Flow is a thinner, more runny ink. Uh, but it's a chemical black, and it's very um, it's a it's very stainy. If you use the speed flow and it gets buffed, more often than not, you'll get like a, a really gnarly yellow stain, which is pretty awesome. Really good stuff. So um, let's uh, let's let's show you a little difference between the ink in real life. Hold on. Now we're just illustrating the difference of the inks here. So I'm not going to prime two more masterpiece markers. I already have two on deck ready to go. How many masterpiece markers does a man need? So we're just going to do these, that way we can use them in a future video. Now first this is the speed flow, and as the name implies, it flows and it flows. Gorgeous stuff. Alright, let's try out the covers all next. Oops, sorry guys. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but the speed flow kind of has a, a coppery metallic kind of sheen to it. It's almost like penny, you know, it's got that chemical black look to it. And that's part of the reason why I think it stains so well. Phenomenal stuff for staining. Now the covers all comes out a little bit slower, um, but it's still a very nice flowing quality ink, and oh boy is it nice. But it's a very deep black, like a Mickey Mouse black. You feel me? Look at that. Oh, so good. All right, we'll take a look at them in just a second. All right, you see the difference in the sheens there? The covers all is more of like a deep purpley black. The speed flow is like a coppery black, a, a metallic black almost, or I, I call it a chemical black. But they're definitely different. Um, I will say this, the speed flow does tend to stain better than the covers all. Uh, but the covers all is a monstrous ink. I highly recommend it. Honestly, get both. It's kind of hard to say which one I like more because I usually reach for the speed flow just because I like its staining ability. Uh, but the covers all does cover really, really nicely. So. I mean, get both, I guess. 
<laughs> but either way, these are fantastic markers. I really, really enjoy them. If you're looking for a black writing marker, there really is nothing finer in the world than these Molotow uh, covers all cocktail markers. I mean, they just, they're just phenomenal. But you'll have to try them both and see which one you like the most, because I, I still don't know which one I like the most. You can buy them filled, uh, or you can get them empty, it's up to you. This one's an empty one that I have filled with my own custom concoction. Check it out. I'm writing upside down here. All right, sick, let's hit up my dude Beavis. Or Bevis? <laughs> Oh shit, is it, is it B E A? I, I already forgot. <laughs> I think it's Beavis. I guess. <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> Do another hit off. You guys like Master P? <laughs> Let's hit it, my boy Rick. Rick in effect. Oh my god, these things are awesome. <laughs> there is no marker like this. None. How could I forget my girl, Inky? Give her a little halo, you know she's in heaven. All dogs go to heaven. Now that was a lot of fun, but this marker is very, very thirsty. So that gives me an idea. Why don't you come inside the office with me and uh, we'll try it a little idea I've been brewing for a while, but I'll share it with you guys. Like I said in my previous Instagram stories, I find this marker to be a little bit incomplete. Now I understand the design principle behind it because they wanted to make it compatible with, you know, common barrels and whatnot, but I, I don't think this should have ever been the barrel for this marker. It, it just doesn't hold enough ink, and I've seen, like I've said before, if you, if you try to prime the nib, right off the bat, once you get it going, you're going to lose about a third of the ink that's in this marker just to get the nib wet. So what we need to do is create a bigger vessel for your ink. And uh, that's where this guy comes in. And this guy. So let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and start disassembling this thing. Uh, let's move that over there. So first you unscrew the valve portion. Uh, next you'll want to pull out the valve. Now this is, this is just snapped together and it can come apart pretty easily. So just you know, be in the safe side, pull it apart because it's under pressure and you don't want this thing shooting out and uh, you know, you lose a spring or something, you know, that would be a bummer. So let's go ahead and get everything here. Oh, there's also two little, uh, also there's two little shaker balls in there. So go ahead and grab those two. So get these all set aside, uh, put them inside a Ziploc bag or whatever you got. I don't have a Ziploc bag handy, so what I'll do it is I'll just set them in here, keep them from rolling around. All right, you don't need this portion right now, so we'll go ahead and let that slide. Look, I put museum putty on this thing, they're still rolling around. Why do mod? That's gonna be the next mod, is we're gonna fix that. But first, we need to address the ink issue. All so, right, here's the barrel, and what you're gonna wanna do is, you'll see where it says full right here, see that full line? You wanna cut it just right below it. So we're gonna do that right now. All right, great. Like I said before, find the line that's just below the full and start cutting. Doesn't have to be perfect, um, but you know, why not strive to have a straighter line? There we go. Now you don't need this, just toss it. Now you're left with this. I just take some 150 grit sandpaper, burnish it on the inside, 
a little bit around the inside edge because that's where the glue is going to stick. So what you're doing is uh, you're doing two things here. You're smoothing out the barrel, get rid of all that that rough um, shaving, and then then we're going to give a little bit of tooth on the inside so the epoxy sticks to it better. Get out of here, hobo! Had a dollar for every time I said that. Definitely in the yards. <laughs> All right, great. So now you have it all burnished out, and we're gonna take this bad boy, unscrew its little top part, put that aside. You won't even need that. Put the bearing aside. Let's go ahead and fit it, test for fit. Yeah, it's expected it's not gonna fit perfectly, so what we'll have to do is um, cut off some of the threads on this bad boy, because you want it to sit in there. You don't want to cut this off completely, because this is going to give you your support on the inside. But because the threads are so big, um, we'll have to shave them down. Actually, we could just use a sandpaper for that. Try sanding them down this like this. Probably will work. Just to give us enough to shove it in there. You feel me, guys? Just enough to shove it in there. Let me see how that feels now. A little bit better, but not quite ready yet. I'll be right back, guys. Just one second. All right, so what I have here is some 60 grit sandpaper. It's definitely going to have a lot more tooth to it, and uh, it should give us that what we need here. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's perfect. Oh, that's absolutely perfect. And this is why I didn't just cut it off, because the thing is, is you need a little bit of support on the inside, right? So let's go ahead and show it in there just again. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. Let's mock it up. Let's mock it up really quickly. See how it looks. Now I'm thinking of having the uh, the uh, the reservoir opposite of the direction of this. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like I'm gonna get a, be able to hold it a lot better. Oh my god, this thing is ridiculous. But you know, it just might work. Just might work, guys. All right, let's go ahead and take the uh, the 120 grit and just smooth it out a little bit. Remove some of those burrs. Looking pretty good. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Right, here comes the fun part. We got some two-part epoxy that I got from Ace Hardware. And uh, this is for plastic. I don't know if it necessarily needs to be a plastic epoxy. I think pretty much any standard epoxy will do. But it was an option, so I bought it. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with epoxy, it's a 2K adhesive. It requires two parts. Um, you know, the, the base fluid and the catalyst uh, to create uh, the bond. So it's a chemical reaction and it should create a nice uh, strong bond in there that'll keep it from leaking. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and crack this bad boy open. And epoxy gives you, depending on the type of epoxy, of course, uh, it's gonna give you a working window with it. And uh, let's get a piece of paper here. This epoxy has, I believe, a five minute working window. Uh, most epoxies take about 24 hours to cure, so I'm not even gonna fill this up. Uh, make sure you apply an even amount of both parts. You can see the, the darker and lighter colors there. Probably took out more than I needed, I did, but I was looking at the camera while I was doing this. Um, when you're done, go ahead and pull the plunger back a little bit so it doesn't keep seeping out. Um, and then go ahead and cap her up. Put the cap on there. Come on, baby. It's supposed to snap on, but I don't think it is. All right, great, so now get your stir stick. Got a little stir stick right here, so we'll go ahead and mix them together. Remember, make sure they're evenly mixed. And once you do that, the chemical reaction will start. So make sure you uh, do it within the prescribed time. These ones say five minutes. So I will follow the rules and uh, get it ready. But just make sure you get it nicely. Oh man, I don't even wanna tell you what this stuff looks like. I think you already know. Yeah, I'm, I pro I'm actually, this is probably good I use so much because you're gonna want it to seal it properly. You know what I'm saying? You want it to have a nice proper seal. So let's go ahead and scrape some off and just start slopping it on there. Just start slopping it on. 
Don't be afraid if you use too much. On this one, at least. Oh, one of Inky's hairs got in there. Miss you, boo. You'll always be in this marker. Might as well uh, smear some on the inside of this. I think a lot of it's gonna come sludging out. That's okay, I wanna make sure it has a really, really nice um, seal. ahead and twist it around when it's on there and then um, like I said I want this there's two ways you can do it you can have it even with it I think having it opposite would be better because of the way that I hold it um, you only you can decide that for yourself let's go ahead and use this and just smear it around the edge make sure it's nice and sealed take a look at it closely here yeah I don't see anywhere where it's gonna leak so yeah, let's go ahead and just set this up. This stuff takes 24 hours to dry, so you will not see me until this part is fully cured. Let me go ahead and just unscrew this here and look inside. Yeah, I think that's perfect. All right, go ahead and let that sit for 24 hours, and we will be back with that. All right, guys, we're back. It's the next day, and um, I think it's thoroughly dry. Let's see, yeah, it's thoroughly dry. Now here's the thing, I I bought this, and I was like, I don't know if this epoxy is gonna work, and sure enough, in the back it says, not recommended for polyethylene and polypropylene plastics, which is probably what this is. Nevertheless, um, I created more uh, surface area by scuffing it up and the threading and everything gives it a lot of grip and seems to be holding pretty good actually. So I think it's gonna be fine. You know, after I did this, I gave it some thought and I was like, you know, you could probably use a glue gun, a hot glue gun to do this. And, uh, you know, use the, um, the industrial grade glue sticks, obviously, you know, not some crappy crafter stuff. You know, use an industrial grade glue stick and you could just get this together and you probably don't have to wait nearly as long for it to dry. So just a thought uh, for those out there trying to experiment with stuff and you probably won't have any issues with adhesion either. Nevertheless, you should still scuff up the plastic uh, definitely gives you more surface tension. So anyways, we got some covers all. Look at that. Does that look familiar? Does that look familiar to you guys? I think it does. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and fill this bad boy up. Let's get a, let's get a downward shot. Let's get a downward shot. All right, sick. Let's go ahead and fill this bad boy up. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You're basically gonna dump the whole contents of this thing in here. <laughs> on further inspection, I realize this, these aren't the same size bottles. You know, I've never actually put one up next to each other, but now that I'm seeing it, this is actually a little bit bigger, so you don't pour the whole contents into here. Dwee! What me worry. All right, well, I guess we'll have a little left over in there. So, just fill it up to the top of this bottle right here and save this for later. All right, so that's full. Let's, uh, let's take a look. I don't think it's leaking, um, only because I spilled some, but... No, it's holding together pretty well. All right, dope. Let's go ahead and put it together. All right, sick. Let's get the, the valve portions and put them together. So just go ahead and put the spring in like that. Seat that bad boy in there. Get this on there and snap it together. Now, you don't have to take it apart when you're doing all this stuff, but sometimes what happens is this will fly off. and So I just take it apart as good measure. That way I don't lose any parts in the process. You feel me? All right, dope. Now go ahead and drop that valve in there like that. Go ahead and, oh, almost forgot. Might as well put these ball bearings in there. All right, put that on there like that. All right, go ahead and screw on the, uh, the nib holding mechanism. Get that nice and tight. All right, great. All right, sick. Now just pop the nib in that bad boy. Now put this on. You're all done. Look at that. Do, 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 do. All right, sick, and there you go. One modified masterpiece marker. Now, I'm already regretting throwing the larger of the two marbles in there. The reason why is because I'm worried that the size of the marble as I dropped it in was almost as big as the throat of this bottle. So I'm wondering if when it starts to get empty that it's going to clog that little hole. Time will tell, I guess, once we go out there and play with it. But good grief, look at this thing. <laughs> 
I think I know what you guys want to see, and I'll be right back with you. All right, baby, let's do it. Oh my God, that's brutal. There we go, guys, we're ready to go. Man, look at that, that's that covers all ink. This stuff is so brutal. Oh, I love this stuff. And as the name implies, it does kind of just go over everything. So definitely buy the plastic one. It's way cheaper than the glass bottle. I don't know why, because it's the only difference really is the bottle. But why we have these get the plastic bottle ones are so much cheaper. Um, all right, let's... Uh, take this bad boy outside and see how she works. All right, this is gonna be fun. See how I'm holding it? That seems to be the best way for me to get the grip. So I'm hitting the wall like that. Does that make sense? Take a look at that. See my fingers are back there? Just get your hand locked in perfectly and you'll be just fine. God, I love this thing. One thing to mention though is this thing does leak like a mother. And uh, and you know, I always say this, don't go tagging in your crispies, right? Don't, don't, don't do that. People do it anyways. Um, if you do that, you're gonna get your your uh, your Air Max is really dirty. So just remember, guys, graffiti's messy. Uh, this thing is so awesome. <laughs> All right, there it is. Very drippy, very messy, but really, really cool, man. I I'm looking forward to playing with this marker in the future. We'll probably see it in Instagram videos and whatnot. But choice, choice, homie. That was a lot of fun, wasn't it? We got to try the actual Molotov Masterpiece marker, as well as my handy dandy little modified Masterpiece right here. You gotta try this at home. This is one of those times where I say, do try it at home. Couple thoughts here. The Masterpiece marker is definitely unlike anything you've ever seen. Um, and it's it's a meme marker. And, and what I mean by meme marker, it's like that thing where like, oh, the biggest marker in the world, right? But it is, it really is the biggest marker in the world. Um, but it's not perfect. It's very thirsty. And uh, if I was going out on the streets, I would definitely want to be modified. And that's why I made that tutorial for you guys. Now in the studio, graphic arts, fine arts, situations like that, you probably won't need to modify it. Just use the stock marker. But if you're out there getting dirty, you need the true warrior. Now, a couple other thoughts about this marker is, again, it's not perfect. Uh, when you go to pull the nib off, if you're a little bit too froggy, you can fall off. So be mindful of that. But that also happens with the uni markers and other jumbo markers that I've tried over the years. But the nib is just so big on that, you could lose it. So when you go to pull it off, just be a little more careful, you know, when you're on the run. Just be a little thoughtful. Treat it like a lady, if you will. But that said, it is the world's widest marker. It really is. And it actually flows and functions wonderfully. Now the question is here, would I buy it? Absolutely would I buy this marker. This thing's phenomenal, man. You're not gonna find a marker this wide that writes this smooth. Compared to the old school ultra whites, this is a much smoother marker. Um, but it's not practical. You can't put it in your pocket. And if you do the mod, it will leak a bit. I think it's just the gravity doing its thing. Um, nevertheless, it is a diamond, baby. It is a diamond. So definitely get one, get a lot of ink, buy the empty bottle, make the mod, and crush the world. 
and uh, I guess that's pretty much it. So thanks a lot guys, this is GR signing out. Thank you for watching my videos, thank you for subscribing to my videos, thank you for following Art Primo on Instagram, thank you for following me on Instagram, thank you for buying markers and other products from us. Because we are your number one source, baby. We got caps, markers, paint, pretty much anything you need, baby. If you want some good banter, give me a call, 206-365-4083, again, 206-365-4083. This is GR, signing out, love you, peace.